Hi guys, welcome to the Faith, Love and Dreams Cooking Edition. I'm your host, Tiffany Melvin. <laughs> okay, I'm your host, Tiffany Melvin. <laughs> if you know me, you know that um, fall is one of my favorite seasons. And what else is my favorite? Eating food. I love it. I'm a self-proclaimed foodie. And um, I'm also a daughter of a chef. I am by no means a chef extraordinaire, but I know my way around the kitchen. So I wanted to share with you one of my favorite fall recipes. It seems intimidating, but it's really not. It's very tasty and it's very simple. And what's that? It is roasted butternut squash soup. Very simple, very tasty. I'll give you another variation if this seems intimidating, but I tell you, if you follow my steps to the recipe, you'll have you a tasty, delicious fall soup ready to go. So let's get cooking. Hi guys, I'm gonna show you what I use to make the roasted butternut squash soup. I use a medium baking sheet, a cutting board, a large knife, I have some small soup bowls and I use this little rectangular or square bowl for the seeds. Um, the seeds are actually an excellent source of fiber and protein. You can actually eat them like you would eat sunflower seeds or potato chips. It's a great snack alternative. I have some spices. I use salt and pepper, a little bit of avocado oil, um, ground ginger, some nutmeg. I don't have any garlic cloves, so I'm gonna use some minced garlic in there using what I have. Uh, I use a little bit of chili powder, some ground cumin, and I sprinkle a little bit of ground sage in there as well. Um, have some butter, and I use brown sugar, but sometimes I actually use maple syrup. And of course, we have the star of the show, the roasted butternut squash or butternut squash since it's not roasted yet <laughs> and um, a little coconut milk to make it a little extra creamy and I use some vegetable broth about three small carrots one onion I have two green Smith, granny smith apples for it to be a little bit tart but I may only use one since my squash is not that big um, if you are intimidated by the squash Remember I said I'll give you a variation. That would be the frozen butternut squash. You can actually find this almost anywhere around this time. I actually purchased this one from Aldi um, and it was fairly inexpensive. So you can grab a couple of bags of this to make you some soup if you like. And I'm gonna actually top it off with some pumpkin seeds or pepitas. And I'm not really sure if I wanna put some oyster crackers on the side, or if I wanna use a baguette, I'll figure it out when it's time to eat. Um, but yeah, you can use that for a little bit of bread, or you can also use some non bread. That's another idea. And these are just the utensils that I'll use. Sometimes I use this little hammer thingy <laughs> to uh, get the knife through. It's fairly tough. Sometimes you can put your butternut squash into the microwave to soften it before you cut open cut it open, um, but we're gonna see how it works with me just using it the regular way. So that's everything. Let's get started. Okay guys, I've actually started to preheat the oven to 375. Um, once we get everything on the baking sheet, we will be popping it in there for about 30 to 40 minutes to roast. And just wanted to kind of show you uh, some options of how you can actually make your soup. I purchased this beauty. <laughs> it's a pumpkin shaped cast iron pot. And I think I either purchased it from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I'm not really sure. But I remember seeing one like this um, by Staub and it's even more beautiful, but uh, it is definitely out of the price range that I wanted to spend for the pot at the time. So I kept looking for another variation and I found this one. And I think that this is a great substitute for it. And this one was only $39.99, I believe. So if you haven't seen my fall haul, go and check it out. Um, I'll have the specifics on it there. And just in case uh, you didn't know, 
you can actually use two different items to actually make your soup. You can use the immersion blender. Uh, this is an old staple of mine. My mom bought this for a birthday gift many, many years ago, probably eight to 10 years ago, and I still have it and it's still working perfectly. You can find these much cheaper now than when she purchased it. It comes with a lot of different attachments. I've made soup. I've used the attachment for um, cakes, um, but it has the immersion blender attachment on it and you can actually blend your soup right in the pot. So I haven't decided if I'm actually going to do this in my pot yet um, because I am having a Friendsgiving in a couple of weeks and I'm going to make this soup again because of course I'm going to eat all of the soup that I'm making now um, and I'm going to probably do it in my pot then. The other option is um, if you have a Vitamix or a blender or a high um, volume or high speed blender you can probably make your soup in there. This Vitamix actually this is a 6300 and it actually has a hot soup function and um, I love that function because I can put all of my ingredients in to my Vitamix and blend it up. It blends it up hot like a soup and you can pour it right from there and just start eating it. So I'm probably for the sake of the video going to go that route, um, but I'll definitely, when I make it on the stove, I'll probably post when I make it on the stove as well. So um, let's get started. Okay guys, we have the butternut squash that is already roasted, the carrots, the onions. We are going to mix up everything. I have the apple still over here. We have our coconut milk, our butter, vegetable broth, brown sugar, and I have a load of some garlic and a load of spices that I'll just be adding to season to taste. I don't really measure, to be honest. I just add it how I feel it should be added. So I do apologize that I don't have measurements for everything. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like how I learned how to cook. So um, let's get started.
joining me on the Faith, Love and Dreams cooking edition. I hope that you enjoy one of my fall favorites, the roasted butternut squash soup. It's simple, it's easy, and once you make it, you'll see that it's very, very delicious. If you are still intimidated by the actual butternut squash, go ahead, don't be ashamed. Get the ones that are in the freezer section. They're just as good. You can still roast those as well. Um, and enjoy. It makes a great quick meal. Throw some bread on the side or some crackers and um, grab your blanket and just cuddle up with a hot bowl of soup that's delicious and nutritious. This is Tiffany from the Faith, Love & Dreams YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for cooking with me. If you like this video, please like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when we upload more videos. We'll actually be adding more cooking videos to this channel, and instead of Mr. Melvin making a cameo, he will be cooking with me the next time. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.